Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're watching AMTV Alternative Media Television. Welcome and happy Friday to all of you tuning in. Uh, we've had a huge turnout. We're just starting this live stream. So if you could give me a thumbs up in the chat box, let me know that you've got A, visual, video, and B, you've got sounds. We're doing a quick mic check here because of course this is live. And I have a very, very special presentation. You're gonna wanna stay till the end. I will go probably for about an hour or so. I'm gonna condense as much information in the most impactful way that I possibly can. Why are we here today? Why are we here? Again, give us a thumbs up. Let us know you've got a visual and an audio. And of course, you're tuning in here at amtvmedia.com. Everyone says they can hear. Awesome, so we are delivering today an amazing opportunity at the end of this webinar, which is why you want to stay. And obviously you're here, you're here today because we will be learning about how to protect, how you can protect your financial assets, well-being, your family, maybe even your friends using gold, using precious metals, using gold and silver. Uh, as always, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not giving financial advice, so please seek a professional before making investment decisions, as well as read our financial disclaimer on our website, amtvmedia.com. Keeping your nest egg safe. We'll be talking about gold, silver, precious metals, uh, using really this ancient form of money and this ancient <laughs> store of value, which has been on planet Earth as long as we have been here, to protect from what we know is coming Today's broadcast webinar is brought to you by our sponsor, SwissAmerica.com forward slash AMTV. That's SwissAmerica.com forward slash AMTV. Also, you feel free to reach out to them at any point in this broadcast. If while listening and tuning in, you say, I, I really need to speak to somebody, then pick up your phone and give them a call at 1-800-289-2646. That's 1-800-289-2646. 2646 or visit their website at swissamerica.com forward slash AMTV. They will answer any of your questions. Uh, we have been doing business with Swiss America for over a decade now. They are a premier partner. They're local. They're trustworthy. They're God-fearing men and women. Uh, they're just wonderful people to work with. And what I really like about Swiss America and doing all my business in terms of buying gold and precious metals and silver is that they're not pushy. Okay, so the, the salespeople are there to help. They're not really salespeople, they're there to educate you. What do I always say? Education is key to your, your success. Uh, they can take everything away from you, as we saw happen in 2008 and 2009 to many Americans. They can lock you physically in a cage, but they can never take away what you know. They can never take away your education. And more importantly, they can never take away your knowledge base. So I wanna welcome everybody here and also, Originally, before the broadcast had started, as we've been promoting this for the last week or so, I originally had a guest list of about 100 people to, to attend today's event. We had an overwhelming response. In fact, we had near 1,000 people plus register, over 1,000, actually, while I'm broadcasting right now, to the event. So we have hundreds and hundreds of you already filling up and joining us live. And then, of course, this will also be rebroadcasted at your leisure. So for those of you that can't tune in, maybe you're at work or something live, you'll also get a rebroadcast of this as well. So today I'm gonna to talk about gold. Why are we here and where are we going? We are in year 10 of an extraordinary artificial rally in US stock markets. An extraordinary event that has never happened before in the history of the world. Okay, for those of you that don't know, many that have been tuning in for over a decade now that have joined us since the beginning when we started this social media channel, I came from the traditional banking world. Okay, I came from Merrill Lynch, from retail banking. I managed money professionally. I had a book of business, clients. I lived through, at this company, the worst financial crisis we had ever seen in the history of man. And it's important that we remind ourselves how Americans, and not you tuning in necessarily, you're awake, you understand if you're here today, I'm preaching to the choir a little bit, but it seems like the general mass of people have short-term memory loss. They forget 
What a dire situation it was. Then George W. Bush came, came on camera. Of course, post-September 11, 2001, if we harken back even that far, what did he say? Spend money. Don't stop spending. Make sure you take your kids to Disneyland. Whatever you do, don't stop lubricating the system of credit. And of course, we saw this in 08 and 09. We saw this with the continuation of Obama, his policies, and now the socialization, really the socialism uh, in America. We've seen it. We saw it with trillions of dollars worth of financial bank bailouts to the largest firms in the world that orchestrated the event, profited on the event, and then bailed themselves out at the end of it. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. And keep in mind, there has been literally zero consequences to all of this. Zero. Nothing. Nada. Not a single person has been prosecuted. Not a single person has, well, there's been some fines, but not a single person has gone to jail. And so nothing's changed. And the root causes of all of this have not been addressed. So again, uh, you can visit our partner, Swiss America, at SwissAmerica.com forward slash AMTV. They're also offering a free report, The Timeless Truth About Gold and Silver, so there's no risk at all. Uh, it's an educational uh, pamphlet. I encourage you to read it. It is extraordinarily valuable, so make sure you visit them. Let's go take a look at gold price today. Where do we stand, and what, do, what have the charts and what has pricing looked like before 08 and 09 and then when it hit? Now, we're looking at a chart here. You can see the screen behind me here. It goes all the way back to just before the crisis started, just before Lehman Brothers collapsed, just before Bear Stearns collapsed, just before every financial institution in the world, including Merrill Lynch, where I worked at at the time, collapsed and then was force-fed bailouts so that they could survive. Now... In actuality, there are fewer banks in existence controlling even more of the wealth than they had before. Again, the problem has been magnified a thousand times. It has gotten much worse. But if we take a look at the price history here, we can see here prior to 08 and 09, gold was trading at roughly about $800 an ounce. It started ticking up, and then it went on a monstrous mega rally. And a lot of people forget to measure, for example, the performance of the U.S. stock market to gold. Okay, they, they don't see the inflation. I'll get to that in a moment. And so we see this epic, monstrous rally from about 737, 800-ish an ounce, all the way to 1,800 an ounce, capitalizing, really reaching this capitulation point in July of 2011. As we go across the chart from left to right, you can see here we are at about $1,200 an ounce. We have reverted to the mean a little bit, probably because of the extraordinary bailouts and because Americans don't yet see what's coming. Now, if you're here today, you obviously understand market cycles. Okay, so let me give you an example of this. This is some, This was a big takeaway uh, from my own education, my personal education, as I uh, attended private school on scholarship at George Washington University. Then I graduated top of my class in addition to that at Arizona State. Of course, and I went into banking before ever getting into social media as an advocate and a student of economics and finance and all of these kinds of things. Um, I brought a comparison chart here. Let's take a look at this real quick. Let's take a look at silver in comparison. Uh, this is a five-year look. If we go back to January 2014, we're trading at about $700 US dollars here all the way down to what I believe to be an extraordinary buying opportunity, about 460 today. A lot of people suggest, including myself, that silver, gold is very valuable at today's prices, but silver is extremely valuable at today's prices. In fact, if I bring the chart out 10 years, you will see before the crisis hit in 08 and 09, we were trading all the way down at about 300 US dollars. We had this epic rally monstrous peak again right in and around about July 2011, hitting as high as 1429 US dollars. So you can see we've had a little bit of a reversion to the mean. As Americans don't see most, not you tuning in, but don't see this epic silent tax that's been hitting their wallets year after year for a decade. 
Back to market cycles, being a student in economics. The average market cycle, this is not my opinion, this is a fact, lasts anywhere from seven to 10 years. Seven to 10 years. Anyone who studies economics, Keynesian economics, any type of economics, finance, knows this fact. The average market cycle lasts seven to 10 years. We are in year 10 today of epic bailouts, 0% interest rates, operation twist, and all of these shenanigans. And it's hitting the pocketbooks of everyday Americans through a silent tax called inflation. Arguably in the future, we could even see a hyperinflationary event, God forbid, in the United States of America. Another reason why you want to own precious metals, gold, and you want to own something that's real, something that's tangible, something that has stable value. So that's a look at the charts. Today, this is very prescient. This is in the news. Today, literally today, uh, coinciding with today's live broadcast. This is from CNBC.com. The next financial crisis, why it is looking like history may repeat itself. You see, even the elites are warning you of what's ahead. Jamie Dimon spoke to this a little bit today as well. Another tremendous risk of the current market structure is that it's all algorithmic. Okay, it's zeros and ones. It is quant trading computers on Wall Street. Humans do very, very little on Wall Street anymore. And the products, which have become multi-trillion dollar markets like ETFs, exchange-traded funds, and also even arguably index funds, are all computer-generated trading. They are, I would call, in my opinion, I would call them exotic instruments backed by, well, just a computer. And models that trade in nanoseconds. So let me give you an example. These computers, not human beings, when they get a signal to sell, they all sell at once, all of them, because it's code. Okay, we saw this, I believe it was in the, in the late 1990s. I remember my father telling me about this. He's a very astute investor. He's invested most of his life in various markets, whether or not stocks, bonds, uh, municipal bonds, uh, all kinds of things, uh, his own business. There was a hedge fund that almost blew up the world in the 90s. A lot of Americans don't even know that that happened. So what we have today is a magnification of this artificial world, a magnification of quant-based systems that don't care if they bleed the market down today, like we saw in the flash crash, I believe it was in 2010 when I watched this live on my own trading uh, Bloomberg terminal, where we watched the U.S. stock market decline 1,000 plus points in seconds. I remember this. I was sitting at my computer and I was just watching everything fall off a cliff in a matter of seconds. So this is where we are today. We are about to get, in my opinion, a massive reversion to the mean. Unlike anything we have ever seen in history that will pale in comparison to the Great Depression of the 1930s. Now, keep in mind, people were dancing, people were partying, they had those champagne bottles popped all the way through the, the roaring 20s, all the way to, as taxi cab drivers were telling their friends, you know, you need to get into stocks, get into the stock market, as the bubble got bigger right before the collapse, right before it took over a decade ever to reach fair value once again, not accounting for inflation and some of these other things. You know, my grandmother, who died in her 90s, God rest her soul, was fearful about money and fearful about her own survival and self-preservation till the day she died. I think she was about 93 when she passed away. Why? Because she suffered through a prolonged period of stagflation, of deflation in a lot of different asset classes, of poverty, of not having enough food to put into her mouth. Now, this is something that, not you tuning in, but a great majority of the population is blind to. I mean, just take a look around you. That, that's the proof in the pudding. Take a look around you today. Take a look at the Joneses, so to speak. Take a look at the McMansions on every block. Take a look at the amazing cars, okay? Not that some people haven't earned some of these amazing things, if they've done it right, if they've saved over time and they're out of debt and they plan for their future. 
You know, there's nothing wrong with owning fine things. But if you take a look around you today, you see a bubble. It is very, very obvious. Not to mention the political divide in America, okay, this vitriolic rage engineered by the system itself to divide and conquer right versus left, left versus right. And a very serious move by the establishment, and this is epic, guys, if the Republican Party cannot maintain its control of the House and the Senate, not, not to mention the presidency of Donald J. Trump, okay, they want to get rid of him too. We are looking at the full-blown socialization and, and socialism of America. And this is incredibly dangerous because all we have to do is look to history to see how it ends. So let me tell you how it ends. And let me tell you a little bit about gold. Gold is an asset that performs best in an inflationary environment. So what I see coming is inflation. It's already here. Okay, take a look around. You go to the grocery store, buy eggs, buy poultry, buy that steak. Okay, there was a friend of mine who was telling me they went to Whole Foods the other day, bought a couple steaks. It was like 50 bucks for two steaks, $50. Milk is more expensive. Grains are more expensive. Everything is getting more expensive. Gold is an asset that will keep your wealth growing stable in an inflationary, in a God forbid, potentially hyperinflationary event in the United States. People think that can't happen here. Oh, Christopher, it's never going to happen. We'll never get hyperinflation in the United States of America. I beg to differ because all I have to do as a student of history is look at the other examples, whether or not this is the Weimar Republic in Germany after World War I. You know what the root cause of a lot of the problems was? The printing presses. Printing fiat currency from nothing, backed by nothing, to cover existing debt. What did it lead to? Led to the rise of Hitler. Led to World War II. It led to millions and millions of people sacrificing their lives and great instability in the world. I can look to other examples, like Zimbabwe. Bless you. Another example where a wheelbarrow barrel of a quadrillion, I think something like this, like multi-quadrillion Zimbabwean dollars doesn't even buy you diapers. We are seeing this today live in these emerging market economies like Turkey, for example, or Venezuela, where again, there is a run on basic staples. There is a run on basic food, water, necessities. And people have lost everything. So to think that this can't happen in America is honestly ignorance at its blissful fi finest. It is not paying attention. Imagine, I want you to imagine this for a moment. And this is why this webinar is so valuable, you tuning in today. Imagine for a minute that by simply diversifying a small portion of your net worth, of your total investment assets in gold, silver, maybe both, let's say 5%, 10%, maybe 15%, maybe more, maybe less, that you could potentially save yourself from impending doom. Okay, um, let me ask the question, rephrase this again. Imagine if you knew ahead of time in 2007 that the wheels were going to come off in 08 and 09, how, could, how you could have potentially saved yourself, your family, your friends from, from losing a lot of people lost everything from losing a lot, from losing your purchasing power, losing your home. Millions of people foreclosed on in recent history. In 2008 and 2009, many filing for bankruptcy, losing their businesses when the wheels fell off. Imagine if you had acted in advance and just simply, this is so easy. You can do it right now. Diversified a little bit of your investment and more importantly, educated yourself with a plan which is what we are giving you today. And again, I have something very special for you at the end of today's broadcast. You're gonna wanna stick around all the way to the end. So we're seeing echoes of this today. In the mainstream media, they're telling you to your face, the next financial crisis, why it is looking like history may repeat itself. Now, let me tell you a little bit of why this is potentially so catastrophic. The Federal Reserve has shot its last bullet. 
They can never, mark my words, never meaningfully, meaningfully, that's key, raise interest rates without a total collapse of the U.S. stock market, bonds, and every other artificial, propped up, too big to fail asset class in existence. They cannot, let me repeat, meaningfully. Yeah, they can give us these little, you know, baby hikes that are meaningless, that still keep us at 0%. They can never raise interest rates, and they're not going to. That's the takeaway. By not raising interest rates and, and, and actually, uh, you know, doing what's right. You know, for example, if you're in debt, like the U.S. economy is today, the U.S. debt clock at 21 and $20 trillion, there's only two things you can do to ever pay off that debt or to ever improve the health of that situation. You can pay off the debt. You can make more money. Okay, net positive, you can generate higher levels of income and um, <laughs> you can generate higher level of income and or cut expenses. That's what I was looking for. You can cut your expenses, none of which the U.S. government is doing. They're spending more, they're making less, and they're not cutting their expenses. They're not addressing the root cause. So we see this echo today live in year 10 of this epic market cycle of which we have hit new all-time highs, of which the FANG stocks, some of them, are hitting over a trillion dollars in market capitalization with not a single pullback in 10 years. Okay, we are about to pay the piper in America. During the Great Depression, people lost everything. They lost their homes, they lost their farms, they lost their jobs. Probably bigger than that, a lot of people not everybody, but a lot of people lost hope. Don't let that be you. Learn from the mistakes of the past. Mark Twain said history doesn't necessarily repeat itself, but it does run. U.S. 10-year Treasury yield today tops 3% for the first time since early August. Again, so what am I most concerned about? What is a key takeaway today? Inflation is here. Inflation is here. It's going to get worse. And God forbid, potentially, we could see in the United States of America what's happening in Zimbabwe, what's happening in Turkey, what's happening in Iran, what's happening in Venezuela, what's arguably happening in Russia. In fact, we saw in recent years the ruble collapse as a result of sanctions imposed upon it by the United States government and our allies. Of course, this is what's considering much of the pressure, courtesy of central banks, in the other countries that I just mentioned. In fact, some of you are probably aware that Russia just held its largest war games in direct coordination, in correlation with China, its biggest allies. Over 300,000 Russian troops showcasing their massive firepower and what's potentially to come. War. People think this can't happen again. Look at these epic pictures just for a moment. I want this to sink in. This is what's coming. This is what's happening now. Look at these tanks. Look at these soldiers. I'll just, I'll just stay here for a minute. I just I, I want to highlight this for a second. This is what's going on. Servicemen, fast roping uh, from that helicopter right there. Helicopters display their terrifying firepower over Siberia. This happened yesterday. Tanks using and propelling their artillery. I mean, look at what we are facing. This should be obvious. Let's get back. So inflation, count on it. It's already here. It's going to get worse. Potentially, we will see hyperinflation in the United States. I hope we don't, but it is a possibility. Because again, as a student of history, I know what comes next. I know, for example, that every fiat currency in the world has failed every single one. Another huge risk to America is this war of worlds between free enterprise and socialism. Free and we see this. This is in our face today. OK, whether or not this is Bernie Sanders or those that echo his sentiments 
Who's the other lady? I forget her name. You know, it said she was a Native American or something like that. Oh, she's she's insignificant. But we, we see this echoed every single day. Those that are have American traditionalist type values, value entrepreneurship, free enterprise. Pick yourself up by your bootstraps, like my grandfather, who uh, built a business out of the Great Depression, took care of his family when his father died, worked his butt off for his entire life, saved, never used credit, never had a loan. In fact, let me give you an example of inflation. My father was down at his, uh, what was it, 30-year reunion? Might have been longer than that, in Long Beach. He visited his old home. So said, Christopher, it was amazing. You know, my dad, I think he spent cash too, by the way. No loans, no debt. Debt will erode long term. I think he spent like 150 grand or something like that years and years ago when he was, my dad was a kid, 150 grand. You know what that same home is worth today in Long Beach? Over $2 million. $2 million. And people don't see the silent tax that is inflation. So what's happening, it's making the richer richer. It's making those that are responsible for the bailouts even more elite. Their financial assets are growing. And this is why, and this is a part of your holistic asset allocation model, of which I've got details on this at the end of the video. This is why you want, want to include precious metals as a part of your diversified basket. So we have this war of world between, between free enterprise and socialism, okay? Give me free stuff, people say. And also too, there's this general malaise in America today where a lot of millennials, I'm not suggesting those of you that are tuning in per se, we have a lot of baby boomers tuning in today. Seems for whatever reason, you, you really understand this. Where a lot of people, they just, they can't find work. They can't find meaningful work. They're underpaid. They're underutilized. So they're like, just give me free stuff. Like, can't, can't it just be this endless thing where I get free stuff? So a war between free enterprise and socialism. We know that socialism or its counterpart communism always leads to financial collapse. So we have some, I'm, I'm trying to emphasize the political risks that we have. Okay, it's, I, I'm very interested to see, and it's very important that the conservative party, in my view, and honestly, I'm more of a libertarian in general than I am a conservative or Republican. I don't really, you know, I really say I'm necessarily a Republican, although I vote Republican party. I'm more of a libertarian, but we know that those kinds of policies that they're pushing ends in collapse. Okay. Ends in inflation, hyperinflation. Let me give you a statistic. Since May of this year, gold priced in boulevards has gone up 23,000 times, or 2.3 million percent. 2.3 million percent since May. Vladimir Lenin said, quote, the way to crush the bourgeoisie is to grind them down between the millstones of taxation and inflation. Huh, sounds familiar, doesn't it? Kind of sounds like America, right? The only thing you can count on, the only thing that's guaranteed is death, and taxes, and now I would probably add inflation to the mix. The way to crush the bourgeoisie, really what he means is the middle class. It's the middle class that is suffering in this country. It's the middle class that suffered in 08 and 09. It's the middle class that is suffering today with this silent tax, if they're not prepared, if you are not taking appropriate action, diversifying your risk, considering, buying, looking at things like gold and silver is a part of your investment strategy, my own personal investment strategy. This is the equivalent. I've always liked to say it is your personal gold standard, your personal gold standard. So you tuning in want to move away from the debasement of fiat currency. Let me show you here a slide. Okay. Some of this you've probably seen before. This is a chart, might be familiar. Would you invest in this if this was a company? I mean, you look at this chart, just going from left to right, straight down. It's like it goes from a dollar all the way to zero. Would you, would you invest in that? Does that look like a healthy investment? You look at that chart and go, you know what? I double, double down <laughs> on that chart. Of course not. Many of you probably realize that's the US dollar chart from 1915 to 2014. That's what it looks like. Not to mention, this is a warning. And this will happen, in my opinion. 
The U.S. dollar, and I, I think it's already occurred, honestly, largely. For example, it took over a decade before people realized the government admitted that we were engaged in the war in Vietnam. People just, oh, no, it's not a war until we were there for 10 years and a bunch of people died. And it turned out to be a waste for most. The U.S. dollar, in my opinion, has already lost its reserve status. Amongst those in the know, amongst those that are in the elite inner circles, it's already lost. Okay, China, Russia, and the BRICS nation's full intention is to collapse the U.S. dollar, not to mention the war games I just showed you, but to collapse the U.S. dollar and the petrodollar as world reserve, which would make us, and this is the truth, the Weimar Republic after World War I, would make us Zimbabwe. We see this with the Yuan today. We see this with, with what they are doing, with the Renminbi. We see this with competitive central banks, a competitive, a competitor to the Western powers, uh, IMF, World Bank System. There are more millionaires in China, for example, many of you know this, than anywhere in the world today, not to mention more troops than you've seen in your entire life, and I, I hope they never hit our shores. Another reason why you want to prepare yourself. Wealth protection from a declining dollar. Here's some major bullet, bullet points. I've gone over why precious metals are important now. Inflation, these other risks, war. Market timing, wouldn't be too concerned with. Right? I think in a, 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 I get more into the specific strategy at the end of today's video. Again, why you want to stay. I, w I don't worry about market timing. Okay, It's kind of like the tortoise and the hare. You know, 99% of the time, it's the tortoise that wins. The millionaire next door is usually the guy that doesn't even have a high income, okay, that isn't flashy, who lives below his means, has no debt. I know people, I have a lot of people like this in my family. You would never know. They've got holes in their T-shirts, and it turns out they're worth more than, you know, $10 million, <laughs> some of them. It's like people, people don't get it. What we have in our society is an illusion. I think most people understand this. So I, won't, I don't worry about market timing. I worry about diversification. I worry about building an asset allocation model. And then I worry about buying appropriate assets, of which I'm going to teach you. So you want to include gold as a part of your asset diversification, in addition to other areas, although I'm very pessimistic stocks at the moment. I mean, again, we're near 10 of record highs. So, you know, God knows how much further this can go. Of course, it can go a little bit higher. It'll make the crash even that much worse. And it will only be a product of more inflation. Again, measure the uh, uh, return on the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones Industrial Average to gold, and it doesn't look that exciting. In addition to that, there is a lot of importance in putting precious metals into an IRA or a retirement account to be specific. Other areas and things that we can help you with. And so can our partners, of course, Swiss America. You know, this chart is pretty common. This is a uh, discerning market cycle chart where it shows you as things take off. And this is, I think, is a good example of where we are today in the U.S. stock market and where it's headed, where we get into this area as things boil up like a boiling frog uh, of greed and delusion. And, oh, and this is the new paradigm. And yeah, it's normal for only tech companies to dominate the planet and the economy and every every all these companies, Apple, Amazon, are all worth over a trillion dollars. And Jeff Bezos, by the way, this is a, a real statistic, makes, I think, what was it, $16 million an hour? Yeah, Jeff Bezos makes $16 million an hour. Oh, I want you to think about that for a moment. A lot of his employees can't even feed themselves and are on government assistance. That's also a fact. But we're kind of here in this ignorance is bliss Really, what should be paranoia for those of you that are actually thinking for yourself and denial. And what we have coming is probably a bull trap, followed by, oh, it's returning to normal, followed by fear, collapse, capitulation, total destruction, and despair. Another reason why you want to own gold. So again, and here's another chart. This is interesting. Uh, 1,200 ounces of gold near 300-year inflation-adjusted price. Again, if you compare gold... Uh, to the S&P 500 or the, the Dow or any index for that matter, going back all the way to 1720 in this case, you'll see that it's not nearly as impressive. All paper money eventually returns to its intrinsic value, all of it. All fiat currency fails. That's Voltaire, very smart man, ahead of his time. You know, another thing that I've been seeing 
and we've seen this really over the last decade, is we see America's enemies, including the United States even, stockpiling gold themselves, while at the same time pumping and dumping the largest bubble in or world history. And again, actions speak louder than words. So we know that they can't cut interest rates. We know that you need an insurance policy. We've looked at the historic track record of gold, silver, making sure that I'm on time. Again, time is, is of the essence. Time is very important. We can look at historical charts. We can see that gold historically has always been a hedge against inflation. It's why you need to buy insurance now before some of these things potentially happen. So what do we do? What do we do? The first thing you need to do is take action. That's it. Okay, guys, I love you. God bless you. Take action. Do not hesitate. If you're watching this rebroadcast, click that link.